from 1G to 4G, every generation of mobile technology has tried to meet the demands of network operators and final consumers. Now, 5G is already being rolled out worldwide and the research community is looking at what will come next. That is, the sixth generation of mobile networks to support the demands and the business context of the future 2030 society. Uh, we can think about several different use cases to well represent future 6G services, some of which are not even available today. For example, while 5G is supporting virtual and augmented reality, 6G will likely go one step further by transitioning towards teleportation, that is, the holographic delivery of virtual experiences in 3D. The challenge here is to make it possible for the whole five human senses to be transferred digitally everywhere in the world in low latency and with extreme accuracy. 6G will also foster the industry revolution towards the 4.0 and 5.0 generations, most importantly by enabling robots to complete cooperative maneuvers that require high precision and coordination. 6G will then support the evolution of healthcare to support telemedicine, such as remote surgery in low latency, and will revolutionize the mobility sector through more advanced autonomous driving to support improved safety and comfort uh, via uh, infotainment. And finally, in the financial sector, 6G innovations will support services such as high-frequency trading and secure banking operation, possibly through the blockchain technology. So it looks pretty clear that these applications have very strict requirements in terms of data rate, reliability and latency, and this requires new technological solutions to be developed and implemented in the next decade. These technological solutions will bring innovation throughout the whole protocol stack of a cellular network, from communications to networking to how the network is managed. In terms of communications, uh, 6G will see a continuing trend in the uh, quest for the utilization of new spectrum. Uh, 6G will go beyond what 5G has done, beyond the exploitation of uh, millimeter waves toward the terahertz band to exploit the large amount of bandwidth that uh, is available at such high frequencies. Uh, the network will also see a revolution in how it is deployed and managed. Uh, 6G networks uh, will need to scale while decreasing the impact on the car carbon footprint. Therefore, uh, 6G will adopt low energy solutions and will rely on ed energy harvesting from renewable sources. The run will also be uh, virtualized and distributed. So uh, the base station will go from monolithic deployment to, to a distributed and disaggregated deployment. Uh, 6G networks will also go beyond the traditional base station to ground deployment architecture and will look at a third dimension. So we'll provide connectivity and we'll get connectivity from uh, devices like drones and satellites deployed on, uh, in the sky. Uh, this will uh, lead us to a cellless architecture where it is not important the exact access point that is serving you, uh, but rather the fact that you either have or don't have connectivity. Learning will also be a key component in 6G uh, technologies toward intelligent and more automated networks. Um, and 6G networks will be characterized by a knowledge and understanding of, se of the semantic of the data that is being transmitted to improve and further optimize the uh, operations of the networks. Besides this, we envision uh, sharing of knowledge among operators and different parties um, involved in the management of the network.